What's going on people? It's UP Baby here. Welcome to another well trading execution video. It's currently 2.51 p.m. in London and 9 it's just gone 9 10 9 50 sorry a.m. in New York. So this is the macro I have delineated here. Um so just, just like last time I'm gonna be looking for setups. Uh price has just taken out some highs as the 9.30 a.m. open so I am expecting this south side liquidity to get attacked so I'm just gonna wait until I see a nice setup form because I haven't actually seen one form just yet uh, it looks like it's a nice fair value gap up here have we just traded into that I believe we have just here so I'm gonna mark that out really quick Yeah, you can see how we've just traded lower, higher, took out south side. That's why I want to see this. Um, took out buy side, sorry. That's why I want to see this south side get taken. But let's look at Dixie really quickly. Dixie's found support at the old um, at the old swing low that was just taken earlier today. Well, last night even. But um, let's go into Euro. And we'll drop down to a lower time frame and see if we can see a better entry. So we've got a fair value gap here. As soon as it trades into there, I'd like us to enter a short position. There we go. So I'm going to enter now. And that's entered and my stop loss is being placed above this high here. So now we just wait. And yeah, should be all good, man. Should be all good. You can see we had a quite an aggressive push into that fair value gap. I don't like when it does that, but price moves how it wants, as we know. But um, yeah, where am I expecting price to draw to? Well, we have this sell side liquidity resting below here, and there's also a swing low over here, which I believe price might want to run to. So I've got that marked out, and this dashed line is the is a breaker, is the breaker high. So same as usual, I'll um, let off about 50% on position here, and then I'll maybe 25% here, and then I'll let a runner go on into the south side liquidity if it wants to grab that. One thing to recognize with my entries. The reason I know that price is likely to move lower from here is because we can see a breaking market structure here. If you've watched my back testing videos, you'll know that this is how I look at price. Break our structure. And so I, I anticipate price to um, want to continue lower because I have a bearish bias anyway and like I said we've always taken out south side liquidity here during the London I mean sorry as soon as the 9.30 bell went pretty up taking out south side south stops so now we need to release some stops somewhere and that no better place to release them than below here Let's see what GBP is doing. I haven't really been paying much attention to GBP. Um, I've kind of been disowning her. Considering my name is GBP Baby, it's not very good for the brand, is it? But Hey ho. We're starting to see that animation. So we 
like to that's what we like to see. And it'll be nice to see us close below this swing low here. Hopefully you enjoyed yesterday's macro video. That was quite interesting. Um, that was the first, yesterday was the first time I traded a macro, but um, yeah, we're here again because they are good fun in terms of you know it's nice to know that price is likely to move in a certain ma manner at these times, you know. But it is a, it is really a patience game, so patience is key. <coughs> There is a anticipated breaker here. So I expect price to run through this level here. Why? Swing high, swing low, high, high. I'm not expecting to break lower. I'd like to see this. You see how we're respecting the fair value gap? This is delineating the, the 10 o'clock hour, this blue line, because I, I was just marking out my New York session. Let's just make this another color, why not?
honestly watching price action especially with a trade on is probably one of the most boring yet intense things ever It's part of the game. It's nice to see us close there. So I recently learned that you can actually use the anticipated breaker as like an entry. So I might add to my position as it trades through it. I want to see it break that 50% level off it first though. So as soon as it takes out that 50% level off it, I'm gonna add to my position. Dixie. Dixie's definitely running into his buy side up here. See how it. This is the importance of levels on, um, you know, breaker blocks. So it's just about as soon as it trades above it, below it. Sorry, I'm gonna add, but it's not there yet. There we go. Add it to my position. These macros are crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. So as soon as this buy side gets taken, I'm gonna take off 50% of my position. I am anticipating Dixie, uh, Dixie's trade up into this area up here. Um, yeah. I wanna see this low get taken out and I'll close 50% of my position there.
you see when it gets close to your target your take profit it gets very you know intense because it's like ah uh, like it's just that like waiting game there we go take off half fantastic let's see if we can run for the lower target as well i'll take off my some of my original position i mean the rest of my original so my position from up here i'm going to take off here and then i'm going to leave the one that i entered here to run lower where have i got my stop loss for this one above this high here and then my other stop loss in fact i need to move my stop loss <laughs> let's do that now lol um can be moved, it can be moved above this swing high here which is 1.09861 modify done so now we've we're all pretty much yeah we're pretty much already won now at this point <laughs> has Dixie taken out his high like Dixie has just taken it if Dixie wants to go into this is a um, inverted breaker and there's a liquidity there's a imbalance up here as well Let's see if Dixie wants to reach for that which would be good for Euro charts are a mess Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Well, this is now technically a breaker, so we can get rid of the anticipated. Consolidate its way down, like, well, not consolidate, but you know, sidestep its way down into the rest of the lows. See how it's returned to the breaker? That would be another entry, but. Let's see what Dixie's saying. Low, high, low, high, high. Here's the breaker for Dixie. It's fine in support. Now let's see if he wants to push up into that Fair Valley gap that I marked out on the hourly. Which is likely. The importance of watching the dollar. GP seems to be moving pretty nicely as well. You see how it just hovers creating, you know, the idea of resistance and then it should attack it. It was nice to see us trade through that breaker just how I anticipated us to. stop for this is literally above this breaker so if we trade back through it then I'm going to just uh, close all my positions because that's not what I'm anticipating to happen you 
next year we trade for 50% level of it. Well, we'll see. We might, we might, we might close above it <laughs> by the look of things. If that happens, then I'll just close out. But I want to see volume stay below it. to be honest you know what I'm gonna leave a runner on so I'm gonna close half my position that I entered in the breaker and then <coughs> what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just leave the rest to run so I'm gonna put my, my stuff at the top of it which is 1.09842 I think is what it um This is the first time I'm um, actually leaving a runner on. I always say, I'm going to leave a runner, I'm going to leave a runner, I'm going to leave a runner. A runner is when I just leave it for the rest of the day because I'm expecting lower prices. But um, I never actually do it because even though I've already broke, I've already, you know, I've already guaranteed myself profit now. But um, I'm going to leave a runner. Like I said, this sounds, there's potential for price to want to draw down into these lows resting here so and this level here so I'm gonna put an alarm on this level I do that but to be honest it's look it like I said the way we're trading in this breaker <laughs> yeah interesting yeah I'm gonna leave it anyway so yeah, that's, that's everything, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. That was another macro. And peace. See you in the next video.